Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here, and I am back with the Moonlight Warrior for Blood Bond. Alrighty, well, I'm actually at the Unseen Village, and now I'm going to pretty much run through this area. I did a little bit of the DLC, I did a really horrible trolley child's dungeon, and now it's time to go back to the vanilla game. In my next episode, I will go ahead and actually do the DLC, because I want to stick with this format. But I have to run for my life, there's so many assholes! Ah, oh, God! This sucks, man. Ah, <sighs> dude, I'm already having a pretty bad day today because I was woken up super early. Now, I normally wake up pretty early, but today, man, I woke up at 7 a.m. because these fucking assholes are making so much noise. In fact, I'm not sure if you guys can hear it in the video because they're still working. But for over a year now, there's been a construction company, I guess it's a union or something, and they have a government contract, and I think they're working on the sewer or something on this street. Now, this is a somewhat big street, but it's not like the biggest street in the world or anything like that. It's probably about four blocks in length, and it's been over a year, and now they have finally made it to the middle of the street. That's where my apartment is, so now they're right outside my fucking house. And for whatever reason, man, they're making all this noise, and it's so bad that literally, like, I don't know what they're doing, but I'm assuming it has to do something with the pipes, where they're, like, pumping something, and it's making the entire apartment, at least my apartment, fucking shake and vibrate. It's awful! So, I'm sleeping, and I just wake up because the fucking house is shaking, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then I realize, oh, it's those assholes, they're finally in front of the house now. So they'll probably be here for about, who knows, six months in front of my house. Because like I said, for half of the fucking street, it's taken them over a year. But then again, what are you going to do? Because for whatever reason, and I'm assuming this is really universal. I've actually asked some people before and they said, yeah, this is kind of the way it is. And they're from different countries and stuff, so I guess it's just the way it is. But you have a lot of these construction unions. They get the government contracts. And because the government probably doesn't actually get on them very much, they just take their sweet fucking time. So maybe they will only show up once a fucking week to actually do this work. But still, it's annoying when they start this fucking early in the morning and wake everybody in this house up. Because that's the thing, I don't care who you are. If you can feel this vibration and you can hear all this fucking noise these assholes are making, there would be no way in hell you're sleeping through this shit. Anyway, I thought I'd bring that up. Also, let me know, guys. Do you ever have that problem with, um, I don't know, construction unions or construction companies that they get the government contracts and then they just take fucking forever to do anything about it? You know, it's always like, oh, yeah, there's a lot of complications going on. Because that's what I've heard already, that apparently they've had all these complications with the pipes and stuff because the sewage is bad. In fact, the other day... This was maybe about three or four days ago. They fucked up, I guess, and they accidentally did something with a water pipe or something, and I didn't have water for, like, fucking ten hours. So that was fucking annoying as hell. But still, like, that's whatever. It's just this fucking noise, man. I know that this shit's gonna drive me insane if they're out there every day, which I don't think they will be. But then again, who knows? Anyway, let me go ahead and roll through this area. Hopefully I can actually get through this area pretty quickly and maybe even start the next area. And then in the next episode, I'll go back to the DLC. In fact, when I go back to the DLC, I'm going to try to finish it. So that's pretty cool. Oh, God. What am I actually doing right now? This is stupid. I need to go kill the lady downstairs because otherwise these bitches are going to just respawn. Let me alone. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're going to chase me down here too. watch. This is not going to be good. Hmm. Maybe not. But, um, that last dungeon I did, man. Holy hell, that was such a trolly freaking place. I had those really fucking awesome clips of the werewolf being in the steps. And also the fucking stupid ass moment of all that rage running from that crazy woman, man, transgender, whatever the fuck that thing is. And then, of course, getting killed by the fucking one arrow, which was awful. Oh, God. Come on, bring it on, bitch. Let's go! Naha, naha. Holy shit, man. The damage. These guys are so weak when you kill that lady. Let me go ahead and grab this. I think this is a spell, and a pretty good one as well. Can't remember which one. Oh, yo, that's the one. 
In fact, I need to be using my spells. I have 25 arcane. But I do think that without like a 50 arcane, I don't know how hard these spells will actually hit. But I have the new one from the DLC equipped right now. So I'm going to try it out. Let me find one of these ladies. Because they are going to be really weak. So this probably will one-shot these enemies. But this will not be the real damage. So don't think that this is actually how hard this spell is going to hit enemies. But let's try it out. Eat that! Oh my god. Honestly, that's pretty fucking cool. I like that a lot. Oh god. Bring it on, bitches! Oh, fuck. I fucked it up. Well, whatever. Die! But yeah. I really have always liked the lightning hammer spell. I've thought that was always a really cool spell. And Beast Roar is another one that is actually really, really useful. I don't like this new one all that much although it is cool because i mean come on this is like fucking cyclops that is fucking awesome dude i am cyclops da -ha, da ha oh motherfucker die and what's another good one i think that's about it honestly because like the one where you fucking make the it's like the soul mass spell in this game i have never liked that I've never ever liked that. It freaking wrecks you in PvE, but, you know, that's PvE. In PvP, though, I've seen people try to use it, I've tried to use it, and it never really works all that well. And once again, I'm pretty sure you really do want to have a, an extremely high arcane to actually make the spells hit hard. So having like a 25 or 30 arcane, I don't know if that's going to actually cut it. But let me go get this asshole real quick. Don't you get away from me. Best thing about this place. No! Are you fucking serious? Anyway, the best thing about this place is the fact that you can actually get so many blood chunks. I mean, there's a ton here. Okay, check this out. I'm going to Hunter Mark because I really want to get that asshole. And I do not want to actually forget about him. So, I will be right back. I'm back. Alright, let me go and get this asshole. Come here! Don't you run away. Normally, I never actually light that lamp until I kill the guy. Because if you l take the time to light the lamp, he normally can get away from you. Alright, let me kill these bastards real quick. Give me that. I hate the doggies, but they need to die. Got him. And now it's time to kill this bell lady. Die, bell lady. Man, I'm hitting so freaking hard with the sword. It's insane. Rah! Holy hell. Nah, nah. Die. Let me emergency bullet now. Because I'm gonna want it for later. How you doing? Okay, so there's a lot of stuff to get here. And there's some stuff that I always skip, so bear with me. But for the most part, I always like to go down low. I hate to aggro all these guys at once. And it is possible not to actually aggro them all at once. All you have to do is just be like slow about it. Okay, it looks like I did it right, but you want to, like, walk. And once you attack the first one, I think they will all aggro, but it does give you enough time to really wreck this guy if you do a lot of damage. So I'm going to try to wreck this fool right here first. I do not want to run by accident. Okay, let's do it. Rah! Come on, die, motherfucker. Oh, he didn't die. That eh, doesn't matter. Rah! You dead now, bitch. Question is, are the other ones coming? I don't think so. Okay. That's pretty cool. Let me go deal with the werewolf down here. Oh, God. Now, these guys can drop chunks. Oh, God. I did aggro them. Not good. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Die. I honestly think these werewolves are the best werewolves for farming chunks. Because there's other werewolves later in a different area that you can also get chunks from. But I personally think that the ones here are way more consistent. Because I have... I thought that was the NPC coming at me. But I have farmed the other place. And oh my god, it just takes forever to farm chunks there. I still think the castle is a really good place. Just killing the gargoyles. Because they can only drop twin shards and they can drop the chunks now these guys i think they can drop the twin shards and the chunks too they might be able to drop the normal shards i'm not 100 percent on that but still 
I have noticed that these werewolves, for whatever reason, they drop a lot more chunks than the other ones. All right, freaking die. God, you're so strong. You know what, I need to stabby stab. What am I doing? I be forgetting. Okay, let me come down here now. I don't really need all that many chunks because I do want to get my pistol up to plus nine. And I think I want to get the pizza cutter to plus nine. And there might be a couple other weapons that I want to get to plus nine. But I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I don't want to upgrade anything right now until I actually make that decision. And people have been telling me that this weapon is really, really good if I put a lot of arcane on it. So I don't know. I'll have to figure that out too. But right now my arcane is pretty low. But I do think I'm going to up this build to 120. I can even take it to 150 if I really want it to. And at 150, I can probably have, like, some really insane stats. Okay. I swear I heard the cannon go off. Why didn't the cannon go off? That's so weird. Hopefully I can sneak up on this guy. Looks like I did. Nice! And he should actually maybe die from this. Oh, yeah, he did. Or did he? No, of course not. Well, he's dead now. Let's go. No! Mm-mm. All right, bitch, I'm gonna stabby stabby you. Aha, uh -huh, don't stabby stabby me! Motherfucker! Stabby stabby you! Nah, nah! Oh my god, it wrecks so fucking hard, man! Don't you shoot me with that cannon, bitch. Ah ha ha ha, hyper armor. What up? All right, so I just got claw mark. That is such a fucking broken rune. But you definitely want to get the one from the Child's Dungeon, which is 30% more damage with a visceral attack. Oh my god, you just murder fucking bosses and people in PvP. You will basically one-shot most people with Claw Mark Rank 3 and a good weapon. You will probably one-shot most people in PvP. Okay, let me kill this bastard real quick. And I will go kill this lady up here as well. There's some more chunks coming up, but normally I just grab these chunks and then I run for it because I don't know how many items are actually spread out around this area. And if there is any other items, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of bullshit items like consumables, maybe like some knowledges and stuff. Nothing that you really have to get, but here's some chunks over here. Kill this bastard. Let me grab these. And then there's some chunks over here as well. See what I'm saying? Also, you get one of the best vanilla game things, or gems, I mean. I said things, but you know what I mean. Come on out, bitch. Well, fuck it. Got the chunks. Oh, God. I hate when that shit is on my screen like that. Leave me alone. You bastard. Run away. There we go. I can finally get rid of it. And now I'm just going to move on. I don't really care about killing that thing. But yeah, one of the best gems in the game, well, let me say the vanilla game, is actually here. It's one of the 18% ones. At least I think it's here. Yeah, no, it's here. And then there's one later on, too. I think the other one later on is in the Nightmare. You also get the 15% attack up one, which I don't remember where that comes from. I think that might come from the castle. I don't know. It's hard to say. Let me hurry up and come down here because this bastard's getting away. Die! And here's some old chunks. Come on, doggy. Die, doggy. And there's another werewolf. The problem with farming the werewolves here is there's just not that many of them. And they're all spread out and shit. But I'm telling you right now, they are a lot more consistent. Go ahead and pick that up. Pick that up. Nice. And now I will go get the gym. But I think that's going to be my last item here that I want to grab. And then after that, I will go and fight the Bosch. And then I will start up the next area. I don't know how far I'm going to get. So I'll have to see about that. I always kind of hated this because it's a really minor loading screen. But that's what it is. It is a loading screen. Alright, so we need to come down here first. This is where the gym is. And I can't tell you how many people I have talked to that have missed this. I'll ask them, I'll say, what's your gem selection right now? And they'll read it off to me, and I'm like, are you for real? Like, they're at the end of the game, they are, they're on NG+, and I'm like, you only have like a 12% fucking gem in right now, are you serious? 
It's like, fucking hell, how did you miss this? But it seems like a lot of people do. Same with the other ones, too, that you get. Like the 18% one. Die, you bastard! Alright, let me go pick this up. And pick this up. Oh, well, guess what? They can actually drop that, which isn't a bad item. I actually should use those. I love those things. They're so good. Okay, let me now make my way over to the boss, which this is the best way to get there. You can avoid all the bullshit if you take this way. Just go ahead and kill this lady real quick. How you doing? Definitely should go and repair my weapon soon. Don't want it to break, and it's probably going to break. Just because it's a bunch of bullshit. In fact, I think I'm going to take out that durability gem. And I'm going to put the 18% gem in there. Lose some damage, but I don't really fucking care. I think I'll lose about 4% damage. But it's better than me having to actually keep going back and shit. Oh god. Yo, I'm going to actually watch this real quick. Just because this is such a fucking creepy moment in the game. And I remember when I first played this game... I didn't actually really pay attention to this part because you have like the moon or whatever and I mean oh my god like it's just so fucking creepy Oh, God. Yeah, for whatever reason, I didn't actually catch the first time that the fucking moon was giving birth. To the fucking monster. That's the thing that makes it so fucked up. It's like, really, man? Mizaki, dude. You are so fucked up, I don't even get it. Alright. Die. Nice, I can one-shot these bitches. I hate it when you can't one-shot them because they'll fall down a lot. And that sucks if they fall. Nah, nah. Give me these bullets. I need them. Let me go and deal with the other ladies. And honestly, I hate to say it because I'm probably going to jinx myself, but this boss battle should be extremely easy. I would think that I'm going to murder this motherfucker in seconds. Because I normally can kill him really quick. And my weapon is just so fucking OP. Alright, let's fucking do it! Oh, yeah! What up? I hope I'm not stuck. Nah, nah! Ugh. Bitch. Why haven't you fell down again? You normally fall down again. Did you fall down? Fuck you! I thought he was falling down. Well, whatever. I'm surprised. Normally he falls down twice. Well, whatever. Ugh, I missed! Not good! There we go. Ugh, holy fucking hell. Told you. I knew that was gonna be a fucking joke. Alrighty, where is the lamp? And it's time to go to the fucking nightmare. Which, if you're playing online, this is a moment where I think you should totally go offline. For the beginning of the nightmare. Because getting evaded in the beginning part of the nightmare is a fucking bitch, man. It's so stupid. So, I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But I first have to go back to... The one place, I can't remember the name of it. The Archive? Well, whatever, let me just do this and I'll see what the fuck it's called. Alrighty, this is the Lecture Building. I don't know what I was thinking exactly, but whatever. Okay, let me open this up. I will grab everything here that I can grab. And I will talk to Patches as well. So that should be fun. Let me pick this up. I know that there's a thing on the ceiling here, which I'm going to try to shoot it down 
with my new spell. What up, bitch? How you doing? Really? I can't lock onto it? Well, fuck it. No! Die, motherfucker! Alright, now I think there is a couple chunks somewhere in here, but just maybe a couple. But I will grab them. Die! I definitely want to get the blood rock because I want to be able to buy blood rocks. That would be awesome. Because I have all this fucking insight and I want to spend it. And I think Blood Rocks is the way to go. I really don't know what else I'm going to buy. Besides maybe a little bit of chalice materials and stuff. Whenever I can. Fucking die. Stupid fucking enemies. With all that water shit. Okay, let me come over here. And this is where the Blood Rock is. Not the Blood Rock. The Blood Chunks. I think there's a couple of them over here. Ooh, Oh, nice. It one-shotted it. Die. Okay, well, I'm gonna totally do that to all these fools. Rah! Oh, fuck. You didn't die. Okay. Yeah, there's just one chunk. Nah, nah. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go over to the left door first. Then I'll drop down. Whoa, God. Why are you so aggressive, my man? Stop it. Oh, you got fucked up. Come on, stamina. Come back a little bit faster. Thank you. Why didn't you stun? Just die. There we go. Well, that was easy. Pick this up. And now let me go through this door right here. And I don't even remember where this leads exactly. I don't think there's anything in here besides something at the end. I don't know what that is. It might be a spell? Can't remember. What's inside? There's actually some lore here. Oh, I see. But yeah, there's actually a little bit of lore. Like, they have notes and stuff that kind of explains the story to you a little bit better. It's one of those things that... I think I read them the first time. Probably didn't really understand them. And I still probably don't understand the lore all that much. Just because, for whatever reason, I don't really give a fuck about the lore to this game just like I really don't give a fuck about the lore to the second Dark Souls game I really love the lore though for the first Dark Souls game in fact there's nothing in here this is just where the notes are that will tell you certain things huh well let me go talk to Patches real quick I'm not actually gonna talk to him because there's no reason to I also think I'm gonna probably kill him because you do get a wisdom if you do Yo, what up, foe? Nah, nah, nah. Fuck you. Give me my shit, please. Blah, blah, blah. I can't remember, like, what you have to say to him. I don't think it matters. There we go. That is a stamina rune. I think that's the 15% one. Bitch. Nah, nah. Give me this item. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, it's time to go to the fucking nightmare now. And this is where the bitch happens. I am online right now. So, I will see what happens, but I'm probably going to end the episode once I get to the first lamp. So, that is something. And, uh, I think I will play online when I do this area. Actually, you guys can tell me, because after this episode, I'm not going to do the Nightmare right away. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the DLC, and then I'm going to do another Chalice Dungeon. So, let me know. When I run through the bottom part, should I be online? I don't mind doing PvP, it's just that doing PvP in the bottom area is the fucking worst because of all the frenzy and all that bullshit, man. It's so awful. Oh god, let's go. Alrighty, well, I am inside now, and I really hope I don't get invaded right away. I can't tell you how many times I've came here, and I have gotten invaded immediately. Like, I don't have enough time to actually make it over to the fucking lamp before I get invaded. And it's so fucking annoying. At least you can run over here. Oh, here we go. You can run over to this area to avoid the frenzy, but a lot of the invaders are total dicks. Like, they will not fight you over here. They'll be like, no, nope, fuck you. Come out to the frenzy. Nah, nah. It's like, really, bro? Like, really? Why do people have to be like that? And here we go. Oh, God. Get to the lamp. Get to the fucking lamp. Please, can I get the fuck out of here? Yes, I can. Okay. Anyway, 
I really hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, will you please like this video for me? Be sure to subscribe, and I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. Peace out.